Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Tyrion Weekly, your weekly recap of all the new Guild Wars 2 news. I'm in a rush to get this done before I go out edition. My name is Dan Quinnell from youtube.com forward slash standards games and stuff, but you likely do not care about that. Let's get on with the show. Coming up today, the tower in Kessex Hills has been unlocked, revealing Half-Life 3, the PlayStation 5 and Scarlet. And in World v World news, we can now fight with other players, pressing more than just the one key. Optimizations of skills have taken place and it's pretty darn good. And in news that was meant to be in last week's show, but there was not enough time, there was a developer livestream on the edge of the mists. You know that tower that we have been discussing for the past few weeks now? Well it has finally been opened up to us and what is inside is something that is rather interesting. Inside the tower is an open world map designed to challenge even the toughest of groups. When you enter the tower you will be spawned on the first floor and it is your job to make it to the top, killing or running right past everything that you find. Each level of the tower increases in difficulty to the point that a party is pretty much required for the final stage. At different levels on the tower you will find pods where prisoners are being held, alone or with up to four others you can enter these pods, kill the enemies that are inside and free the prisoners. A personal favourite enemy of mine to kill was Traherne, it certainly did not end well for him. When you reach the top of the tower you enter another instance where you think you're about to take on Scarlet, but unsurprisingly she got away once again. When you take down the final boss in that instance you can pump antitoxin into the heart of the tower and when the right amount has been added by all of the player base the Tower of Nightmares will be taken down. Also in this patch came the first wave of skill optimizations. Skill lag has been a problem since the game first released but has never really been felt until the start of the seasons. With this patch skill lag is either completely gone or severely reduced allowing for more advanced tactics to come out of Worldby World and not just spam one and hope you get lucky. I would love to bring you footage of this but my computer would likely explode if I recorded in a battle like that. I was going to include this last week, but I didn't have enough time. The Edge of the Mist had a developer livestream last week, and thanks to Dolphy, who took some notes on the livestream, I can bring you some information about it. So here it is. The map is designed to be used when you are queuing for a main World v World map. You can get to this map anytime through the World v World drop down menu. You can play Siege and capture objectives, which will affect your score in the Edge of the Mist, but not in the main World v World maps. Matches are shorter, more like a few hours than an entire week long. All of the objectives that you will find on the map are completely different. Supply generates differently on this map. You build generators to supply a reactor that gives you supply. There are no Dolyaks on this map to kill. There are three sectors of the map with unique creatures and objectives, Arctic, Desert and Jungle. In the Arctic you can see the Coden, the Grawl are in the jungle and the Ogres are in the desert. Each sector has a keep, two resource camps, a tower and three unique objectives for you to capture. Each objective is guarded by a different enemy with a unique set of skills. Sentry turrets can be placed on the map once you control all three objectives. These allow you to spot enemy players and zergs nearby these turrets. You can build and destroy bridges between the different parts of the map. The map is a series of interconnected islands so you can be knocked off of them and you will get world XP on this map. This all sounds very interesting and I'm hoping that one of my guilds gets into the beta so I can provide coverage for you all. That was this week's Tyrion Weekly. If you have enjoyed the show please be sure to subscribe to the MMORPG channel to keep up to date on when this is uploaded. And if you feel like subscribing to me, you can come visit my channel over at youtube.com forward slash standards games and stuff where I've just uploaded my how to Battlefield 4 video and it's amazing. So come have a look, guys. The link for that should be in the description below. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you again next week. Goodbye.